Hey everyone, it's Rachel Dean. Today I'm doing a Listen's Fall Pick Out My Makeup Challenge. I saw this from the Legacy. I'm just playing Sims over here on my computer. Um, and and Claire Siobhan, both of them did this challenge. I thought it was really, really interesting. So I grabbed my Sim Self. Though this version of my Sim Self does not have a nose ring in. So I, I think the time I did that one, I didn't have that custom content. So I went ahead and have it do my makeup. The brows are off compared to how I do my brows normally. But I'm not going to change them because I don't actually have blonde brow stuff. Because I don't like when my brows are that light. I think my eyes just kind of vanish. My, my eyebrows just kind of vanish with that blonde. So this is what it came out with on the screen here. Um, a purple look, really intense eyeliner, and then a purple lip, and I think that it was a light pink blush. So we're going to try recreating that. So let's start with the eyes. I'm going to start out with the Lace of Drag palette. I think I can get this look kind of from this palette. But probably not exactly. So I'm going to start out with a white. So I'm going to take Cake Face here. Probably going to dip into some of my individual shadows in a bit here. But I'm going to start out with the Life's to Drag palette. What happened there? No idea. Alright, we're going to start off with the Life's to Drag and Cake Face. And just apply that kind of everywhere. A to set my concealer. B, because there is some really lightness in that inner portion. Uh, some of makeup is so not like, not the level like I do makeup. All right, so next I'm gonna take Pageant Clean, which is this purple tone. I'm gonna do the crease with that. Yeah, I'm going to need to dip into a few other palettes to create that exact look that my Sim picked for me, basically. So basically, to do the challenge, you go into create a Sim. You can't do randomize because it will just randomize your Sim. Um, you close your eyes while you're in cast mode. You click on to make up so like eyeshadow for instance. Close your eyes, it gives you one of the eyeshadows that's in the, your repertoire, including weird costume ones. Then you close your eyes again once you've picked one. And then you pick the shade, like in the slider type of thing. And that creates your look. Um, I think that's all I can do with that palette. I'm gonna grab the Dummy Cosmetics Lemonade Palette because there's this kind of lady color I kind of want to use to blend up the top with. I'll take a different blending brush and use that shade Strawberry just to blend up here, make it a little lighter. That's kind of what I want to do. This is a look. Not as much of a look as the one my sister gave me that one time, but it's still a look. Alright, I'm going to grab my purples from my individual shadows. So I have a bunch of those. Alright. Now all of these. I just don't know which one it is. Uh, those are warm tones. Ooh, that has one of the shades I want to use. Actually, two of the shades I want to use, to be quite honest. Aha, there's all my purples. I was like, where are all my purples? I know I have a lot of purples. Where are they? Okay, so I'm going to take, I'm going to keep this one blending brush out and go in with this shade, which is the NYX um, Hot Single Shadow in the shade Ultraviolet. To deepen up the crease and to kind of bring some coolness to it because right now it's a little bit too 
a warm tone compared to what my sim self has so, yeah you guys saw the look we are trying to recreate I'm gonna try leaving the image up you probably have already seen it say up here I'm gonna try in editing to leave it up the whole time so you guys can always reference back to what I'm trying to recreate um, next I'm going to take a C brush and looking at it, it's all matte. I'm going to grab this tone, which is a nice lilac shade, and it is the Colourpop Pressed Powder it's a lot of Shadow Palette in the shade Howlin. I'm going to take that, apply that on my lid. This is going to be such a look. Oh, Sims. The Sims really don't have like that many good, like, if I was doing a Sim, and I do have a Sims series called the Immortal Twins, I also have a Nella style one, which is like no mods or anything up on my gaming channel, which is down below if you guys are wondering. Um, I always have a hard time, like, putting makeup on Sims, because makeup just isn't good. I'm going to go back with that ultraviolet shade from NYX. They just don't have good makeup. Like, I have some, like, custom content ones that are somewhat better, but even those aren't that great. They're very, like, here's the first tone, and here's the second tone, and that's it. Have fun. Okay. And even though it looks like all matte in the picture, I'm gonna add a shimmer, because I need a shimmer, a shimmer to feel comfortable with my makeup. Um, so I'm gonna go on top with this show tone which is the NYX, it's Prismatic Shadow. I put PS on the back, but now I can't remember what PS stands for. And it's the shade Frostbite. I have not used this shade in ages. And there was something I rushed from beforehand, but, well, I'm just gonna tap that off a little bit. Just to give it kind of a multi-chrome here. I'm not trying to make it like super pigmented, I just kind of want a shimmery mist right there. And a little bit lighter tone based off what I am seeing my sim wearing. My sim self. Alright, now she does not have any eyeshadow down here, so we're not going to put anything down there. There is like, I think it's supposed to be glitter or something, I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I'm assuming it's glitter, I don't even know if I have purple glitter, to be quite honest. We might be dipping back into these, but let's get to the eyeliner, because that is definitely the main focus of my Sims makeup, apparently. So I'm going corner to corner. Like full on in corner. One in the waterline. I might use a black to smoke that out on the lower lash line. Yeah, we're gonna smoke it up a little bit. So in this palette, I do the black shade, which is the ColourPop Press Powder in Let's Do It. I'm just gonna take that on this like flat multi brush and just kind of stamp it. 
in the lower lash line. Just to get more of that intensity that we're, my sim wants to go for. This is like raccoon eyes. Times like a hundred. I mean, not really, but that's how I'm feeling about it. So, I'm gonna put that shadow away for right now. Then we need to do the massive eyeliner. I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Eyeliner. This is my favorite. My favorite eyeliner at the moment. Go all the way in the corner. Because it is full on. So just start with just the basic line. Like that. Broke eyelash hair. It's like pointing straight up. Okay, and then this one is going straight outwards like this. And quite thick. Yeah, basically looks like it. And that one's a little bit more curved up. The picture is more curved up than what I am. Alright, so closest and best purple that I can do is going to be this one, which is the Jeffrey Zara Cosmetics Laura Cruz Fix and You Better Work. I never wear this one because I'm not a huge purple fan, but look calls for purple, according to my sims, so I'm ready to do that. go. You can zoom in on the picture again. My computer just unzoomed. She has like black on the inner portion. Or something just really dark. I don't have something really dark. So I'm going to take this shade, which is the ColourPop Nudal Shadow in Crown Jewel on this Morphe brush, which we had black on before. Not cleaning it off in between. And we'll do the inner Question with that. Because our sim self really wants that. I think that's as close as we are going to get with getting close to that. Alright, next we have the funness under the eyes. So, I don't have purple glitter, but I have gross glitter. And I have a moonlit supernova shadow. So I'm going to put this down, put this on top, and we can correct it with purple. So this is a purple. Crummy type thing. So we'll do that. It looks just like speckled. Doesn't look like it's perfect. Just 
just based off what I'm seeing, it's not perfect. So I'm not going to try to be perfect either. With my placement. Okay, before that dries, so I'm going to regret this. I'm going to put some rose on top of it. Grab that on a brush from e.l.f., which is actually a lip brush that dries. We'll just put that on top. I hope this doesn't go everywhere. But it is glitter, so, you know, glitter will do what it wants to do. Sparkly. But still not right. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that frostbite from this brush. And I'm just going to pat that on top. Just to see if we can correct it just a little. See more cool tone. They're reflecting at different points though. This versus that. So that's lovely. But overall, this is how Lucin wants me to do my makeup. So, yay! If you guys like this video or this type of challenge or wants me to do it again, please give me a little thumbs up. Subscribe to my Hell Pack. I'll see you guys all in the next video. I'm going to go take off all this makeup. Bye!